tal están? Bienvenidos a un nuevo episodio de Caribacat. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on January 2015 Part B, the travel section. Um, it's going to be focusing only on the oral or paper three part of it. This video is a part of a series where we're working January 2015. Um, we did a video on it last week, so ensure, ensure to check that out. And also, we're going to only be looking at the guided conversation section and the reading passage section. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm going to be dropping some vocab words. Make sure you watch to the very end of this video or use the timestamps down below to navigate to which part of the video you want to see. Now, before we get right into it, I want to thank Italia Irvin, Laura Wallace, and Kimberly Lewis for commenting on our last videos. Your comments are well appreciated. Gracias a todos. Gracias a ustedes. Now, if you want me to show you out in our next video, ensure that you comment down below. And better yet, turn on the post subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to comment and I'll be more likely to see it and give you a shout out. So now, let's get right into the video. The guided conversation questions first. Viajas mucho? Explica. No viajo mucho. Yo prefiero quedarme en casa. No viajo mucho. Yo prefiero quedarme en casa. I don't travel much. I prefer to stay home. I don't travel much. I prefer to stay home. ¿A qué lugares has viajado en tu país o fuera de tu país? He visitado España y Cuba. He visitado España y Cuba. I have visited Spain and Cuba. ¿Cuándo haces turismo en tu país? ¿Cómo viajas? En general, mi mamá conduce su coche o... Yo ando en bici. En general, mi mamá conduce su coche o yo ando en bicicleta. Normally, my mother, generally, my mother drives her car or I ride my bicycle. ¿Quién es la persona que viaja más en tu familia y por qué? Mi mamá viaja más en mi familia porque ella es Piloto. Mi mamá es la persona que viaja más en mi familia porque ella es piloto. Note, I use the word piloto here. You might be saying mamá, madre, feminine, so it must be pilota. In traditional Spanish, piloto is invariable and is used for, used for both male and female. Ella es piloto, él es piloto. ¿Vale? If this video has been useful to you so far, make sure to dan us a like, give us a like, and drop a comment down below and tell us what you are thinking. En continuación, ¿Qué preparativos se deben hacer para viajar? Primero, hay que hacer las maletas. Segundo, hay que traer los documentos más importantes como un pasaporte. Primero hay que hacer las maletas. Segundo hay que traer los documentos más importantes como un pasaporte. First one needs to pack their bags and secondly one needs to or it's necessary to bring along important documents like a passport. ¿Por qué viaja una persona? De mi punto de vista, una persona viaja para encontrar más lugares y para conocer más gente. De mi punto de vista, una persona viaja para encontrar más lugares y para conocer personas diferentes. I think that some people travel to find new places and to meet different people. ¿Qué problemas? ¿Qué 
problemas pueden tener las personas que viajan. A veces es difícil obtener una visa o un pasaporte. Además, hay algunas personas que se pierden sin GPS. A veces es difícil obtener una visa o un pasaporte y hay algunas personas que se pierden sin GPS. Sometimes it's difficult to obtain a passport or a visa and some people get lost if they don't have a GPS. ¿A qué países te gustaría visitar y por qué? Me gustaría viajar a Paraguay para practicar español. Me gustaría ir a Paraguay para practicar español. Me gusta viajar a Paraguay para practicar mi español. I would like to travel to Paraguay to practice my Spanish. Vocab words. Viajar. Preparativos. Hacer las maletas. Pasaporte. GPS. Una visa. All right, now for the reading passage. Take your time, listen to me as I read. And what I want you to do is to listen, pause the video, um, look at the screen because it's going to appear on the screen where you're going to see um, the reading passage from the past paper. So you can listen to me as I read, pause it at a point, and then repeat. Try to get intonation and flow because I don't want you to be counting in the exam and so on disjointed. Pronounce the words well and enunciate. So, empecemos. The name of this reading passage is Backpacker Tourism. Backpacker Tourism. Todos queremos viajar, pero hay turistas que prefieren no tener un viaje planeado hasta el último detalle. Ellos cargan una mochila a cuestas y se llaman mochileros. De ahí se originó el término turismo mochilero. Viajan económicamente y no necesitan guías de turismo. Son muy sociables y buscan conocer a las personas y la cultura del lugar que visitan. Tienen una mente amplia, están listos a tener nuevas experiencias y realizar hazañas. Generalmente viven en hosteles o albergues, se desplazan en transporte público y compran la comida en supermercados en vez de ir a restaurantes. Si quieres irte de mochilera, Recuerda llevar una mochila ligera y tener tu cámara a mano. También escanea tus documentos personales y no guardes todo el dinero en el mismo bolsillo. Alright, so that's it for this reading passage. Now it's time for us to jump into the vocab words section for what we get. Remember, you don't have to worry, you don't have to memorize any vocabulary or actually comprehend a reading passage. I think, you know, going through past papers, the reading passage has a ton of words that can be used to help you when you're doing the reading um, comprehension in paper two, or words that you can use in the oral exam when you're having um, the guided conversation. And um, it's just powerful words for you to know in Spanish and it can really help your writing and on um, the overall um, grammar and vocabulary and comprehension of the language. So here we go. Turistas. El detalle. Una mochila. Una mochila. Sociable. Desplazarse. El restaurante. Una cámara. El bolsillo. All right, so we've done our guided conversations and we've done the reading, and then you guys got some additional vocab words. Make sure.
you watch this video as many times as possible remember it's gonna help you with your reading and speaking um, you can also if you have any questions drop them in the comment section down below and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel this is a channel where we help you pass CSEC French and Spanish with flying colors so if you want to stress less and prepare for exam success this is definitely the place for you gracias por mirar ese video y nos vemos wait before we we go remember exam preparation reduces frustration adios adios